Hi, I'm Joel Corey, and you're listening to Match Connect today. Hola a todos, Matchers, ¿cómo están? Soy José Carero Jari y el día de hoy estamos en esta entrevista sin filtro con un DJ talento y un artista match que nos encanta y es un consentido de casa. Estoy hablando de Joel Corey. Joel. Nice Hola. To Hola. <laughs> nice to talk with you. First of all, Joel, I want to thank you because yesterday we were listening in our flat your presentation in Aggie, London, and we all here in the flat were really hyped with your music. <laughs> oh, mate, that's so good for me to hear. Thank you. I'm glad that you're loving the tunes, man. <laughs> I, I was cooking and I was like... <laughs> oh, you're cooking up some food, yeah? Having a little uh, <laughs> exactly. When did you start DJing? Um, I actually started DJing when I was 13 years old, so I started okay. quite young. Um, my older brother was a DJ, so when oh. I first started, I just wanted to be like as cool as my older brother, so I was like, uh, I'll get my decks, I'll be a cool DJ as well. And um, yeah, I just, you know, as soon as I got them, I started practicing every day in, in my bedroom. My mum was always telling me to turn the music down and the neighbors were like, shut up with that noise all the time. <laughs> um, but you know, through my teenage years, I, I got really into it. And at school, I was known as Joel the DJ. And and um, I started DJing at, you know, birthday parties and, and weddings and, and un, under 18, like, like teenage discos, this sort of thing. And, you know, eventually it led on to me uh, DJing in nightclubs as a resident DJ. And I did that for 15 years, man. Like my whole life I've, I've been doing the DJing and, and, you know, I got into producing music Uh, when I was at college, and um, yeah, man, it's obviously the last the last year of my life. Uh, wow! When you started uh, making the the DJ and DJing, you started pro uh, producing at the same time, or or this was after? Um, so I started producing when I was at college. So when I was okay. about 19, uh, I started doing the production, and um, yeah, I've actually been doing it um, for a long time, uh, but it wasn't until last year that one of my songs in the UK um, broke through and became like my first hit but it took quite a long time for this to happen you know for many years I was trying so this is why now it, 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 I'm so happy because it's wow. you know finally what I always dreamed of is, is happened. <laughs> and congratulations we are talking about sorry right the, the last year's hit that was massive. Right, so that that was my first song that that became a hit. Yeah, sorry, it's always yes. going to be um, a very uh, special record to me. That one. <laughs> yes, and also you broke the record for the most Shazam track in one day. Congratulations for that, man, and a lot of of, of records that you achieved. Congratulations, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, that's that's um, yeah, it was a really cool record to have. The the, the the nice thing about Shazam that I like is that it people Shazam something because they hear it and they're like, Oh my god this is a banger, I need this track. And um, so to have the most Shazam song, it makes me think, oh, all these people were like, I need this song, like, what is it? So it's, yeah. it's, it's very cool. <laughs> it is also a super hit, you know? A lot of people oh, wow. call and ask for the song, for the uh, Conteo match, that is our top 30 with the most popular songs all about Mexico, and, and your songs are there, man. So congratulations. I want to ask you something. When you when you get the, no the, the, the information that, that you broke that record, you made something after that to maybe all of those people that uh, maybe doesn't know who were you, but after that, they know you? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, it's, it, for like, obviously after that happened um, and that the news got out that that happened, a few people were like, oh, maybe checking it out to see, you know, what is this track? Because obviously, it, you know, it broke the record, so I need to find out and have a look. So, yeah, it was really cool, you know, man. But for me, um, the, the the statistics and, and the record is, is, is cool, but the most important thing for me is just to see people enjoying the music and connecting yes. with it. This is what makes me the most happy. And, and also as a DJ, you can see the evolution of your tracks, right? Like like playing yeah. in parties or the residence, uh, et, et cetera, no? 
Yeah, um, and that's that's one of the most exciting things for me because my whole life I've been a DJ playing other people's music and um, play, obviously playing my own music as well. But it is an amazing feeling to now see other DJs playing my music and the crowds uh, knowing the words. And when I DJ and I look over the dance floor and people are singing the words back to my songs, um, it's it's unbelievable, man. I was reading that you achieved your first UK number one single with, with this collaboration. Is this right? Yeah, it's uh, my first number one in the UK. Um, yeah, man, I, it, even when I say it now, I still, it doesn't, it hasn't sunk in yet. I still can't believe it. I'm pinching myself like, <laughs> is this real? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, man, and and this, the song as well is with Emanike, who is an amazing artist, an amazing wow. singer, a great person. And for him, also his first number one. So I'm really happy for him because he deserves it so much. And talking about this collaboration that it's amazing with Emanike, as yeah. you was uh, as you were telling us, how does this was born? This this collab. Well. I was working on Head and Heart for a long time. So I was working on this song last year, like October, November. So maybe 10 months now I was working on this, right? Um, now, on the on the version I was working on, the, the demo, it, it, I, I, the vocal was not right. And also there was some sections missing that I feel needed to be there, but I couldn't quite get it. It, it wasn't quite right, but I kept, going back to it and working on it and I knew the song was very special right but it still it, it still needed work and the demo got into Emanike's hands um, and he messaged me on Instagram and I was like wow because I'm a big fan of Emanike <laughs> yeah, and I was like oh my god he's messaged me like and he was like I really love this head and heart record I would love to get involved in it and I was like wow Yes, amazing, thank you, like, wow. let's do it. And I said to him, I said, listen, man, like, I think um, I think some new bits need to be written as well, like, and he, he agreed and he said, leave it with me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. And he sent, the next week he sent me back his, his vocal recording and he wrote the new sections that needed writing. And as soon as I heard it, I was like, that's it, 100% perfect, man. And um, <laughs> together we then, finished the record and um, here we are man it's out now and I, I, I'm so happy with how it sounds and so happy that everybody is loving it. I want to ask you about this this video I know that you work with the same director that, that you worked yeah. before but um, the story I love the story like yeah. two, two stories at the same time please talk us about this. Yeah it's, it's a beautiful music video um, I'm so proud of it to be my video, man. Um, so the story is, it basically, like people take different things from it, but basically what I take from it is that in life, you can live life two different ways. On the left side is maybe a lot of people sometimes feel quite negative in life and they have a bad day and they keep feeling negative and, and you can see the whole day can go this way. But on the flip side, if you look at life in a positive way, you know, it manifests and good things will happen. And I really like, I really like it because I think it, the strong message is that in life you need to have a positive outlook and you can live life thinking with, with your heart, you know, and, and good things will happen. So I think it's a really, um, a really beautiful music video and I, and I love the message that it has. And yeah, I'm glad that you like it as well, man. <laughs> Joel, what can you say to all your match fans here in Mexico City above all the stations? Yeah, I'd just like to say to you guys, you know, thank you so much for supporting my music. I'm so uh, excited about this and, you know, next year, hopefully I can come and visit. That would be a, a big dream for me. I've never come, I've never been to Mexico before. Wow. Um, and if I, if I come, I know that I'd have the best time ever. Um, I can see you know, on Instagram, I look at things in Mexico and I'm like, wow, this place looks amazing. So hopefully one day I'll come over and see you guys. We will be pleased to have you here. We love music. We are really good fans. And I don't know, uh, we, we love uh, getting into parties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Pam 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 p